Hello and Assalamualaikum everyone. This is chapter 5, uh, form 4, on the topic chemical bond. So, you are with me, Teacher Azlina. Okay, we'll start with 5.1, Basics of Compound Formation. In this subtopic, you will learn there are two types of chemical bonds, uh, which are ionic bond and covalent bond. And the ionic bond form uh, when transfer of electron between metal atom and non-metal atom occur. Whereas covalent bond form when non-metal atoms share electrons. Okay, this is in subtopic 5.1. Okay, now we proceed to subtopic 5.2 which is ionic bond. Okay, ionic bond form by the transfer of electrons between a metal atom and a non-metal atom uh, involve metal and non-metal okay let's say we have metal atom metal atom will donate electron to non-metal atom the non-metal atom will receive the electron and achieve stable octet or stable duplet electron arrangement uh, this is actually why the element the atom wants to um, donate their electron and wants to re receive electron from other metal uh, other atom because to achieve stable octet or duplet electron arrangement okay now we see before the formation of compound we see the formation of ion so uh, neutral atom if the neutral atom donates electron, it will form positive ion. Donate electron will form positive ion, which is cation. Cation is positively charged ion. And if the atom gain electron, receive electron, it will form an ion, which is negatively charged ion. Okay. So we have two situations here, whether the atom donate electron or gain electron. If the atom donate electron, then it will form cation. And if the atom receive electron, it will form anion. Okay, first one, formation of aluminium ion. Aluminium ion is uh, Al3 positive, uh, positively charged ion. Aluminium is a metal, so this is aluminium atom. Electron arrangement of aluminium atom is 283. Uh, in the outermost occupied shell, uh, the aluminium atom has three electron. So what happened is aluminium atom donates three electrons, and this is how the atom will form. Now it is not atom anymore. This one is called aluminium ion. Okay, aluminium ion, positively charged ion because it donates it. It's three electron. And the proton number of aluminium atom equals to number of electron, which is 13. So it has 13 proton. So when aluminium atom donates its three electron, the electron total electron for aluminium ion now is 10. Okay, it donates electron already. So the total electron now is 10. But the proton remains 13, so that's why it becomes 3 positive. Because number of proton is more than number of electron. Okay, and that, here is how we write the symbol, the formula for ion. Okay, this is the half equation to represent, uh, represent this thing. Eh? Above this, okay. This aluminium atom, this is aluminium atom. When donates three electron, this is donate three electron, it will form aluminium ion. 
Okay, this one is formation of magnesium ion. We have magnesium atom here. The electron arrangement of magnesium atom is 282. Okay, because the proton number of magnesium is 12. So, number, ele number of electron of magnesium atom is 12 as well. Okay, then to achieve stable octet electron arrangement, magnesium atom need to donate its two valence electron. After donates two valence electron, then magnesium atom becomes magnesium ion with the valence electron, uh, the electron arrangement is 2,8. Okay, and then we write 2, positive 2 there. Okay, and then the half equation to represent this uh, equation is this one. And magnesium atom donates two electron to form magnesium ion. This is how we write, we read the half equation. Magnesium atom donates two electron to form magnesium ion. Okay, this is formation of oxide ion. We have uh, oxygen atom here with electron arrangement to 6 because the proton number of oxygen atom is 8. So, the number of electron is 8 as well. So, what happened is the oxygen atom wants to achieve stable octet electron arrangement. Then, oxygen atom accept two electron. Okay. So, now the electron is more than proton. Okay. So, formula for oxide ion is oxygen O2 minus. With electron arrangement to 8. Now. And then the half equation. Oxygen atom receive or accept or gain 2 electron to form oxide ion. Oxygen atom receive 2 electron to form oxide ion. Okay, this is formation of sodium chloride. We have sodium atom and chloride atom. Uh, sodium atom and chloride atom here. And then what happened is sodium atom donate one electron to chlorine. And then chlorine atom receive the electron. Okay. And the compound now, formation of compound sodium chloride is like this. Okay, you put a bracket there. Uh, and then the symbol, positively charged, negatively charged. Normally, we write the positive ion in front and negative ion after the positive ion. And look at the electron arrangement. Both the ion achieve stable octet electron arrangement uh, by transfer of electron. The metal uh, atom, which is sodium atom, Donates its valence electron to chlorine atom. Okay. Okay, so how do we describe the formation of sodium chloride just now? Okay, we use this uh, description. Okay. Okay, electron arrangement of sodium atom is 281. Electron arrangement of chlorine atom is 287. Sodium atom donates one valence electron to form sodium ion to achieve stable octet electron arrangement. And the half equation is sodium atom donate one electron to form sodium ion. Chlorine atom receive one electron. Okay, because the electron arrangement to H7, so it receive one electron to achieve stable octet electron arrangement. To form chloride ion, then you write the formula okay, for the chloride ion. And then this is the half equation. Chloride, chlorine, receive one electron to form chloride ion. And sodium ion and chloride ion attract one another by a strong electrostatic force to form sodium chloride compound which uh, with the formula NaCl. Okay. Okay, formation of magnesium chloride. Same thing. Electron arrangement of magnesium atom is 282. Electron arrangement of chlorine atom is 287. 
sodium uh, magnesium atom donates two valence electron it's two valence electron to form magnesium ion and achieve stable octet electron arrangement and the half equation is magnesium atom donates two electron to form magnesium ion okay chlorine atom receive one because the valence electron seven one electron to achieve stable octet electron arrangement. You have to state to twice, eh? Electron arrangement here. Twice. Okay. To form chloride ion. And then you write the, the formula for the chloride ion. And then half equation for chlorine. Chlorine atom receive one electron to form chloride ion. Magnesium ion and chloride ion attract one another by a strong electrostatic force to form magnesium chloride with the formula MgCl2. Okay, so this is the diagram how magnesium chloride form. Okay, so we have electron arrangement of magnesium atom is 282 chloride. Chlorine atom to 87. Okay. Since magnesium atom has two valence electrons, so it need to donate to two chlorine atom. Because one chlorine atom can receive only one electron to achieve stable octet electron arrangement. So magnesium atom donates two electron, and then what happened to magnesium atom? is it will form magnesium ion with uh, two positive charge. And positively charged. Okay, then what happened? What happened to chlorine atom? It becomes chlorine chloride ion. See, since the electron is more than proton, so negatively charged ion, negative one. Eh? So you write the symbol there with a bracket. Okay, and then look at the electron arrangement. Just now, electron arrangement 287 and 282. Now, the electron arrangement becomes 288 for, for magnesium ion and 288 for chlorine, uh, chloride ion. Okay, so this is the electron arrangement for magnesium chloride. Formation of magnesium fluoride. Electron arrangement for magnesium is 282. Electron arrangement for fluorine is 27. So magnesium donates to valence electron to form magnesium ion and achieve stable of the electron arrangement. Half equation. You write the half equation. And then you repeat the same thing to the fluorine. Okay. Same point. You just repeat the same point, but you change the atom, the electron arrangement. Okay. Okay, this is how the magnesium uh, fluoride form. You have one magnesium atom with the electron arrangement 282. And then the two electron is donate to two fluorine atom. Okay, uh, this is the compound for magnesium fluoride. Okay, the last one, formation of magnesium oxide. So, the explanation is all the same. Electron arrangement of magnesium atom, electron arrangement oxygen atom, and then you state how many the atom donates, eh? And then the for, uh, the formula of ion uh, to achieve stable octet electron arrangement. Then write the half equation. And then for the oxygen atom, how ma how many electron it receive to achieve stable octet electron arrangement? And write the formula of the ion form half equation. And the last one, you write the the statement to. Uh, state that magnesium ion and oxide ion attract one another by a strong electrostatic force. Okay. Uh, and then uh, write the formula uh, for the compound form. Okay. This is the electron arrangement. 
uh, for magnesium oxide. Okay, this diagram give you two marks. Okay, please write completely with the magnesium atom, with the magnesium ion, the nucleus. Okay, the circle for nucleus first. And then the shell uh, to show the electron, the charge, uh, positive charge, negative charge, and the electron arrangement for both atoms. Okay, so that's all. Hope you can understand the explanation in this video. Thank you. Bye.